Welcome back to Technique Tuesday. Today we're going to go over two exercises or tests rather that we also do to determine whether or not an athlete is ready to return to sport. One of them is going to be balancing and the other one is going to be an agility or change of direction type test again to help determine if their injury is in a position where they can now return to some of the activities that they're going to need to be able to do in their specific sport. The first one is called a single leg stance balance. This is perfect for anyone who's had a lower leg injury, whether that's the hip, knee, or ankle. If you've rolled an ankle or had any kind of foot injury, plantar fasciitis, anything, as you run, as you cut, as you jump, you need to have good, solid foundation and stability on that lower leg. So the way we do it is we stand upright, big and tall, raise one leg up. Don't let them pinch or hug or hold together. They have to be independent and separate. Stay big and tall, eyes open for 30 seconds, and if that's too easy, then we go to eyes closed 30 seconds. When we find that there's a deficiency or an inability to do so, then we have them practice this at home. 30 seconds, three times each leg, and of course we test each leg, but we do that to help build up their endurance or their stability. The way we make that even harder, after we go eyes closed, is we'll put a soft surface down. It's like a foam pad, a pillow, or a cushion, just to make that surface a little bit tougher to deal with, much like you would experience in a field, from a gravel to a concrete, all these things that will challenge our balance. The next one that we're going to do is a hop test. So often a ch quick change in direction is required, whether that's basketball, football, soccer, volleyball, pickleball, whatever the case may be, a quick change in direction is needed. And if they've had hip, knee, or ankle injuries, being able to rebound or bounce back from one position to another is important. So we always start with both limbs down, and for 30 seconds, we see how they do going back and forth. Can they rebound quickly back and forth, or do they need to kind of stop and gather before they go back. If they're able to rebound back and forth 30 seconds like this over a very soft, non-dangerous obstacle, nothing like a hard book or anything they can trip over or land on, then we go single leg and we go single leg on the injured side. So we want to see if they can do that very quickly and rebound back and forth. If they have to stop or kind of be still or they're not very confident with it, then we work on some things to improve that confidence and improve that ability to go back and forth as quick as possible. I hope those two techniques help. We have a blog being released later on today about the differences between ligament damage and muscle damage and how to rehab from both of those things. Have a great day.